Back in August of 2017, I did a review on Virtual Foundry's 90% metal filament, and I'll leave a link up in the description if you're interested in watching that video. But altogether, I'll save you the time. It was a very good review, mainly because I found that the filament was just so brittle. I mean, it just breaks, especially the copper. The copper, I was able to hardly get the print at all. So. At the time I was printing on an ANET A8, which is not a Bowden style setup. I now have the CR10, which is a Bowden style, and I thought I'd re kind of revisit it and see what we got. And I was able to get better prints this time, although I still had to babysit the print. It still would break going into where the extruder motor is before the Bowden tube, and I'd have to kind of just feed it in after the break. And obviously, you know, there, I got some separation in the layers and stuff like that, but I did get some good prints out of it. This is the Jade key from Red ready player one the copper key from ready player one and an affinity heart a little just ring pirates of the caribbean and this is virtual foundry spiral cone their own little model and you know this isn't a bad film and it comes out pretty cool it's very heavy we can see that the pirates of the caribbean coin is 20 grams compared to a pla one that is seven grams so it's, it's a lot heavier and it does turn out really cool. Uh, you can shine it up and buff it up even more than this if you have like an electronic uh, kind of buffer, which I don't. But this was in my tumbler and kind of shined it up. So the other plus to this filament is that then you can center it and get it 100% metal by burning out the 10% PLA. I did that in my first review, but I didn't have a kiln to do it in, and you need very specific temperature and time settings when you're centering this out per Virtual Foundry's instructions. I was able to pick up a kiln on Craigslist for 100 bucks, which was a total steal, and so I thought I'd revisit this and try centering some of these objects. We're going to start with Virtual Foundry's little spiral cone because they have specific instructions on exactly how to do it. We'll see if it turns out and uh, maybe we'll try centering some of these other objects. So let's jump into it. Okay, so for prepping the model for centering, you have Virtual Foundry's Magic Black Powder, which is basically their proprietary investment. And they say to take it and paint it on the model just like I do in many of my other videos when I'm doing regular you know, metal casting. And then take that and put it in a metal container and of course sticking to the tradition of the last video, we're gonna use the can of beans, which I'm sure my wife will agree I don't need any more beans. So let's go ahead and get this all mixed up and into the can of beans. I'm gonna try to do this without making a huge mess, which is gonna be next to probably impossible. Now they say it's about 1.8 parts magic black powder to one part water. Now you suspend this into the gook, the magic black powder. I'm trying to get it kind of in the middle there. And then it'll set up. I'll be back when it sets up. 
All right, it's been about 15 minutes and it's all set up. You can feel it's warm. So there was a chemical reaction going on right there. And to be honest, you know, if Rosarita Bean Company want to send me a check for sponsoring their beans, I will cash that. So just keep that in mind, Rosarita. And the next step here is to put it in the kiln at 350 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes. Let's go do it. It's been about two hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. When I checked it in an hour and 15 minutes, there was actually a big puddle of water on top of this. So I knew all the water had not evaporated out yet. And you can see it's changed colors now, and except for that kind of center part there where it's still fairly black. But I'm tired of waiting, so I think it's time to kick it up to 500 degrees for an hour and 15 minutes, or I think an hour and 30 minutes actually. So let's turn up the heat. All right, it's been an hour and a half at 500 degrees. You can see it's turned almost completely gray. And this is the last time we're gonna see it because now it goes up to 700 for an hour and a half and then up to 1530 for 45 minutes. And you have to limit the amount of oxygen to it at this time so we won't be opening up the kiln. Here it is the next morning. It was in the kiln at 1530 for 45 minutes and I went ahead and took it out. One thing I noticed after I did that, of course, was that the instructions tell you to quench it. So to take it out and put it in water and let it quench. I was tired, it was like 1130 at night and I just pulled it out and let it naturally cool down. So here it is. It's interesting that the bottom of them kind of like popped out. And I don't know if that's from the expand, uh, the heat of the metal and it expanding or if there was water possibly still in there and it started to steam and push that out so not sure but this is what it looks like that kind of crack on the top is a little disconcerting because it's not supposed to get air but let's break this open and see what we got stuff really does smell like rotten eggs, so there must be like sulfur or something in it. So my first impression is that it pretty much looks like exactly how it went in. I mean, I guess it's solid metal. It doesn't look really any different other than it's darker. I think I'm gonna throw this in the tumbler and see if we can polish it up. So here are the results. I feel like this one just didn't center long enough. It's still kind of powdery and I can't get it to shine up like metal. And then of course there's like holes in the bottom here and I found a large void space in there. I don't know how deep it goes, but it's definitely not metal on the inside. Interesting enough though, it is conductive. So there definitely is a solid pathway of metal in this model. After that, I was like, you know what? I need to do more. Let's try this again. Let's try something, centering something a little bit longer. So I did the copper key. Unfortunately, I quenched it and it exploded. So this is one of the pieces that was left of it. But as you can see, it shines up really nicely and is just feels more like metal. So the longer centering temperature or longer centering time 
seemed to work out a little bit better for me. After that, I was like, I couldn't stop there. So I decided to do the Jade Key as well and increase the centering time. And this one I feel like is the most metal feeling. It, it, it sounds like metal and it just feels very solid. Unfortunately, I can't get it to polish up like copper. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna keep trying on it, but very interesting. And I can't get this one to conduct either. This one, no matter what, I don't know if it's an oxide on it or what, but it will not conduct. So anyways, guys, interesting, fun video. I think this filament is pretty cool. The braking sucks. I've heard that they reformulated it and it doesn't break as much now. Not sure, but the centering is interesting and it does work. If you guys like this video, hit like and subscribe and we'll do some more weird stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching.